Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our second attempt to get the Exquisite Timing um, achievement on Legendary Iron Man with permanent dark events enabled. After we failed the first run, we have now bounced back and uh, reassessed our strategy and it is looking good so far. The Retaliation Mission Operation Witchhawk is the third mission in the first month. We're very, very close to the uh, first supply drop, which um, kind of would solidify our success. But before we go there, let's actually dive into the mission itself. We got um, Corporal Bones, our Reaper, uh, leading the effort here. And boy, boy, we have probably too many uh, specialists at this point, if there ever had been too many specialists. So... I am going to follow up on what I mentioned the last uh, time. We are actually going to take one rookie with us. And, and for, um, for good old times, we're this time taking Edgar Alien Poe uh, with us. He's the first one in, in line to hopefully get an upgrade. And I hope it's not going to be another specialist. Uh, the name of the game here will be to at least save six or more um, of our civilians to end first on, uh, strong on the first month. We don't want any injuries and thankfully uh, we have a Reaper with us, which should make the mission a bit easier. There we go. Let's see if we get many promotions. Well, decent amount, I would say. So first and foremost, that's an important promotion. Nice. Hold targeting is actually not too bad. I can see um, when we can use that. Shrapnel uh, gets a nice plus three damage um, and radius improvement. And we still got XCOM points left over. Uh, we're definitely going to go for Blood Trail. Plus one damage if the target has been wounded this turn is good for letting him finish targets. It'll essentially increase the damage of his Vector Rifle by one. So far, so good. Edgar Alien Poe becomes a Sniper. Holy moly, got our second Sniper. That's great. And Dark Tower Noxus gets the medical uh, protocol unfortunately gravely wounded so i think dark tower that's uh, that means you are not going to be one of the main protagonists of this run got a conditioning that's excellent got some advanced agility that's excellent as well hair trigger another data pad o overall a pretty successful run excellent. and 27 supplies on top of it which is good yeah, Dark Tower will definitely. I mean, um, chance to panic when encountering a chosen is nothing that you would want to have on your final uh, mission. So unless we can help it, uh, he's probably out of uh, out of it. We will staff him whenever needed. But the problem is that uh, that his that his disabilities now would become an actual li uh, liability for us in the runs. Ah, that's really a shame. Good, there are more supplies which we don't need. There's the Chosen. There is chosen. Well, time for us. Uh, time to two more days. Uh, might have sped up the resistance ring. Not sure. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. Good. We got a pretty solid first month. And we're fighting against Nightwitch, the assassin, trying to reduce our income. 
It's not the worst. Oh, wow. I think we hopefully can uh, counter the gun to ground because a permanent loss of the black market would really, really be bad. Uh, spider and fly, I don't mind about that. Good. So that's uh, these are the resistance orders. Nice. Excavation speed 50%. Okay, so we have excavation speed 50% increased. Contact with new regions is made instantly. That's what I wanted, the resistance network. But I think for now we're going to go with excavation speed plus 50% um, as we are excavating at the, at the moment. And this will help us a ton going into uh, the next month. Great. What can we do? We could either uh, locate the Templars, which will give us a Templar. I think we're probably going to do that. Skirmisher is another option. Together with a promotion, uh, that would be nice. It'll essentially give us a, another promotion right away. I think we're going to do that as well. We got loot and we got a scientist. Ooh. This is difficult. We will need a scientist first, so that is the absolute highest priority. But it costs 17 days, 13 to locate the faction hero. We could go for the scientist first and then get the Templar, which we probably need to do. Let me think about it. That'll give us a second scientist for sure. Can we squeeze in a few more days for the faction hero? It's not a bad idea having a Templar. Uh, it was one of my shortcomings the last time that we got the Templars way too late and I, I did not have the time to level him up. But at the same time, if we can't get our research done quick enough, there's really no point in in trying with the rest. And we need to get ahead of the curve. So recruiting the scientists is probably the smarter choice for now. I hate to do it, but it has to be done. Good. Whom do we take on this mission? Um... Let's see, dodge plus six is good for any soldier. Let's use one of our specialists and let's use Edgar Alien Poe here. Hmm. You know what? Let's give, give Mike the chance to actually get a promotion. I will probably need the remaining soldiers. Getting a scientist is exactly what we need. And now we got also resistance communication. That's perfect. Can build resistance comms and towers. And we got a breakthrough. With a better understanding of remote comm systems, uh, the cost of constructing resistance comm facilities will be reduced by 50%. Although. That is nice. Uh, it was never the cost uh, that was the problem. It was never the cost that was the problem. Don't need the faceless corpse. Don't need the sectoid corpse. Also don't need the troopers corpse. So we're going for hybrid materials and we're probably then afterwards biting the bullet and trying to go for uh, the armor upgrade. Got a second, uh, oh no, we will get a second scientist soon. Maybe if we're lucky because the game doesn't yet realize that we do have a second scientist, it will offer us one on the globe or one as a mission reward as well. That way we would actually get a bit ahead. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. 
Do we need supplies? Let me think. Do we need supplies? Uh, we'll get 80 supplies here. That'll be more than enough for us to continue. So for now we're saving the three days of going with the supplies. And instead we're we're just focusing on gathering intel. You gotta squeeze everything out if you want to do it on legendary difficulty. Clearing uh, just became faster, as you can see, only six days to do that, which is perfect. So I think we're fine for now. There are the hybrid materials, which gives us uh, the research to plated armor. Experimental weapons aren't bad. Good, so if, if we're looking at the option... to go for experimental weapons in eight days, you know, that's not bad, but uh, experimental weapons, what does it give us? It gives us uh, the access to uh, an axe, which is actually quite good. Um, the a bow gun, which is not good at all. A nice sidearm, which gives us some uh, um, extra abilities. So we could try to go for that. But uh, for me, that all falls a bit short. I'd rather go for plated armor. Um, that's 15 alien alloys, which we do not have at this point. Uh, that's bad. Are we instead going for the datapad decryption so that we improve our intel? Yeah, I think that's the way to go. The experimental weapons, you know, guys, I, I like them, but I think that's a bonus that we can't afford. On the other hand, they are only eight days now because they are inspired. And I can always go for the data decryption a bit later with more scientists. So in the absence of alien alloys, um, we're doing the weapons, but only as long as we don't have alien alloys. The moment that we have the alien alloys, I'm going to switch over to um, the plated armor research. Finally, we got the resistance ring. Commander, the factions you have contacted are well equipped to track down the chosen. If we want to upgrade it, it'll be helping XCOM locate and eliminate these threats. We already have a covert operation underway. Yeah, we're we're upgrading it because it all, uh, it gives us an extra slot, and uh, it also reduces the timing a tiny bit. Uh, we could put another uh, if we had more engineers, we could put another engineer in here just so that the missions would be faster. And rest assured, I'll do that sooner than later. Now that we have spent a hundred, I feel uh, that. I probably need some more supplies so that we're not coming short when we uh, when we are finishing the excavation. There we go, excavation done. Let's build the power relay. That's exactly what we wanted to do next. With the power relay, we will have enough power to go for the shadow chamber. Having the resistance ring upgraded also costed us power, but the power relay um, uh, makes more than up for it. We're not going to not yet go for um, for a sped up version. Instead, I would like to continue excavating. 19 days um, sounds absolutely fantastic. Got to clear another alien debris probably the other alien debris here all take no they only take one staff so that's good um, we can how long would it take us uh, 19 days as well 100 and 
120 and here we would get only 101 101 so we're of course taking the most lucrative excavation first 19 days uh, let's shortly think um, so we got the resistance ring that's fine power relay would come in in about 20 days that's okay the alien uh, clearing the alien debris will dictate when we can build the shadow chamber um, once the proving ground is done once the proving ground is done we can start with the skull jack skull jack takes about seven days if sped up um, to uh, to build so if we had another um, engineer we could uh, speed up the power relay just a tiny bit elsewise i would say we're uh, putting this engineer to the power relay so that we harmonize the time when the power relay is done and the clearing of the alien debris and as soon as they are in sync with one another we're putting the engineer back to proving ground so that the engineer could help finishing um finishing the skull jack okay we're okay on supplies that's fine let's not waste more time there i think we are better off going for more intel although you know let's maybe get the remaining supplies for now it's not absolutely optimal but it gives me enough leverage to build whatever I want without flying there again. Also it takes one item off the um, strategy globe and as soon as there is one less item there's a higher chance that more other items will spawn. Um, that's perfect. We definitely got to counter this event. Protect the device. The supplies aren't optimal as a reward but I'm uh, beyond stoked that we finally got to counter this event uh, because uh, doing it without an entire black market would have been would have been probably uh, the worst thing that could have happened to us so what we need to do is protecting a device uh, on easy so that's nine enemies which we need to kill should be doable we're at the beginning of month number two proving grounds almost done Let's take a look at our armory and see who could be there. Oh yeah, more than enough. We can get Reaper, Sharpshooter, Specialist. And how about we're putting Renvin in there as well. And Quickfeed is almost back, by the way. So we can definitely take our top team uh, here. Looking strong, looking strong. Good. That brings us to the end of uh, this session, guys. I hope you enjoy the content. As always, my uh, kind request: if you do want to, uh, if you want to do me a solid, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you like um, what I'm doing, uh, feel free to leave a comment uh, below. Today's uh, question would be: What is your um, favorite resistance order and why? Um, please tell me in the comments down below. I'd like to hear your opinions. All right, take care and have a great one. Bye bye.